Today is Wednesday, the 14th of December. We're in the third week of Advent, but today we celebrate St. John of the Cross, a doctor of the Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I never boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. Dear friends, one of the most important aspects of this synodal journey that we are on together is listening. Listening and discerning. And it is clear from our consultations that we're not really very good at this. We're not good at listening together as a group, as a community. And we're not very good at discerning. Perhaps there are structural obstacles to this in the church, the hierarchical nature, this divide between priests and people. Perhaps it is those things that fragment us and break our relationships. And so perhaps because of these things, we have got, gotten out of the habit of listening together, discerning together. The bishops of Poland said, not listening leads to misunderstanding, exclusion, and marginalization. As a further consequence, it creates closure, simplification, lack of trust, and fears that destroys the community. When priests do not want to listen, making excuses, such as in the large number of activities or when questions go un unanswered, a sense of sadness and estrangement arises in the hearts of lay men and women. Without listening, answers to the faithful's difficulties are taken out of context and do not address the essence of the problems they are experiencing. The laity feel that the flight from sincere listening stems from the fear of having to engage pastorally. A similar feeling grows when bishops do not have time to speak and listen to the faithful. Dear friends, can we create time and space today to listen? To listen to the different voices, the quiet voices, the voices on the periphery, the voices outside. But most importantly, can we find time today to listen to God? And perhaps we can try to listen as a family husband and wife, children, work colleagues. Can we try to listen and discern in community with others? It's something we're not good at and we need to, to practice. Let's see if we can practice that skill today. Let us pray. O oh God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, Grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and work in the church for the salvation of all. 
Amen.